Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Holy guacamole. Um, this escape creep bob looks, well, creepy. Molly, I don't know if I should laugh at him or cry at him because he's kind of goofy looking, but also a bit terrifying. Well, I say we play the game because, um, I'm not afraid. Are you afraid? Um, well, uh, come on, Daisy. Let's do it. All right, so guys, we're going to play one of Packstabber's new obbies. We think his obbies are so much fun, so let's do this. <laughs> Is that Plankton's weird evil cousin? Yeah, it's Minkton. <laughs> Minkton. All right, let's click play. Whoa, this is like SpongeBob. Look it. He says, hey, you, I need help getting the secret formula from crabs. Um, okay. Um, well, I already died, so uh, there's that. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, it seemed creepier than it really is. Like, it's not really that creepy yet. Not yet, but it might get creepy. Daisy, jump on the barrels like me. Boing, boing, boing. See? Okay, aren't you just uh, the expert? Um, all right. Okay, there's an open door. We can go through there. Duh, Captain Avius. I could have told you that. Rude. Um, <laughs> that is who we're escaping. That is terrifying. Uh, I guess... <laughs> ah! I stepped on the burner. Oops. Step on the hamburgers, Molly. Yeah, that looks like nothing like SpongeBob. That's SpongeBob's evil cousin. Larry. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Larry, you are creepy. You're going to make it. No. I died. But I think I actually um, clicked the checkpoint. So I don't have to do that part over again, which makes me kind of happy. Molly, one of those french fries is evil. And one of them is not. And another one is also evil. Oh, the dark brown ones are the good ones. A dead end. Quick use these bubbles to get to the other side. Okay, no props. Stankton. <laughs> Molly, did you just call him Stankton? Totally, I did. What? What? That was like a faux bubble. That was ridiculous. All right, let's try this again, Daisy. Oh, no. We have to go over the french fries again? It's making me so hungry, though. Oopsie. Molly, would you stop dying so much? Uh, playing Roblox Abbeys with Molly is like... The most frustrating thing in the world. Whatever, I'm not that bad, am I? Oh, uh, guys, slam the like button if you think Molly's bad at Abby. Don't slam the like button right now, guys. Slam it later or something, just not right now. Oh, Daisy died. Daisy died. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yes! <laughs> oh, wow. It's really cool. I like how that face goes wah, 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 when you save. Um, obviously these are deadly ingredients. If you touch them, you will die. They are booby trap people. I'm beating my sister Daisy. That never happens. I'm so happy right now. I'm coming, Molly. I'm coming. Don't you worry. Okay, watch this. Oh, that's the coolest checkpoint ever. Oh, man! A bunch of knives trying to chop, chop, chop me up. Whoa, I came so close on that one. Yes! Daisy, are you ever coming up here or not? Daisy, oh, where are you? Let's see where Daisy is. Oh my gosh, she's way back there. See you, Daisy. Oh, wait, wait, I'm confused. Where am I going now? I think I have to go down. Yeah, all right, I did it. Now what do you want? Stankton. I know what to do. Quick, jump on these fatties to get to that door over there. I don't know. They look kind of green and gross. I don't think I want them to be on my feet. Um, how do I get from over there, though? Hmm. I don't think I'm going to make it that far. Oh, wait, yeah. They're, like, super bouncy. Whee! Ew, they're moldy. Oh, am I going to make it? No! Oh, bummer. 
It's okay. Guys, I have a secret weapon. If you've not watched our channel before, you might not know this, but I have a pet unicorn. And in times of trouble, I just call my pet unicorn like this. Say it with me, guys. Power of the unicorn with her sparkly horn. So far, so good. I think I need to go to this burger over here. And then maybe over here. Yes! Marty, are you gonna wait for me or what? All right, fine, Daisy. You're taking forever, though. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, you don't always stink at Abby's, and all of a sudden, you're so great at it. Um, yeah, you can't go through the wall. You definitely die there. Uh, I don't, I don't know where, I don't know where to go next. Okay. Now I'm behind my sister, which is super annoying. Whoa! Whee! Um, Daisy, where are you? Daisy! I died, duh! I don't know where to go next. Um, I went over here. It doesn't look like you can go anywhere. Maybe up here? No. Incorrect! Alright, unicorn, quit being so lazy. I need your help again. Alright, Daisy seems to know where she's going, but she doesn't. You can't make it that far, Daisy, duh! Well, Marty, it was worth a try. You can't jump up there, can you? Maybe it's just a trick. Maybe you can. Um, no. <laughs> totally died. Oh, Daisy's gonna try the same thing, aren't you, Daisy? Yeah, and it didn't work. Hmm. Ah! Oh my gosh, I died on the first try. That was lame -o. All right, let's try this again. Jump on these patties to get over to the door over there. Oh my god, did we just walk through the door? Are you serious right now? I feel like a real nincompoop. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so seriously, all we do is just walk through this like this. Oh my gosh, Daisy. We really are um, blockheads sometimes. Yeah, Molly. I think we really will. Um, Daisy? Are these human hands? Yeah, Molly, but I've got a key. We can get out of here. I need a key, too. Um, and also, Daisy, I'm a little bit nervous about the fact that there's human hands in here! Well, Marty, the best thing to do is get out of here. Good point. Where is that formula? Listen, Stankton! We're trying our best, okay? Yes, Stankton. Wait, didn't you call him Mankton at first? Yeah, but he looks more like a Stankton to me. Super stinky! <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Whoa, whoa! Look at all these stacks of cash. I wish I had this much money. I would buy all the Robux in the entire world. And I'd save a little bit for ice cream. Come on, Maddie. What are you waiting for? Apparently, I'm waiting for another chance at this because I have to do it all over now. Oh, that's so annoying when that happens. Okay, well, time to speed up the video. guys <laughs> finally molly i thought you'd never get here ah what was that that was evil bob <laughs> or larry as you called him um okay well i think i actually just escaped not quite molly watch out for the car and for him ah he's so, so funny looking i mean he's sort of creepy but also funny Oh my gosh, don't run into a car. Then he gets you. Oh man, there's spikes in the road. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Molly, hurry! Larry is right behind you. I don't really know if his name is Larry. I think he's an evil version of SpongeBob, but... Molly, we made it! Oh my gosh. Home sweet home. Oh. It's so good to be here. There's a button to open the door. Go find it. Oh, we're not done yet. No, Molly, we're not done. This game is going to never end. I just know it. Yes, it will. Besides, if it doesn't... Oh, boy, Daisy! That was awful! Um, Daisy just died in the most evil way. She got, like, cut up by that saw. They're probably going to put you in a Krabby Patty now. Really, Molly? Yeah, they might. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. 
Wow, this one's super hard. Ah, I keep dying again. Oh, man. You gotta jump over, man. You can't touch anything on the sides. All right, here we go. This is gonna be the time I win. I just know it. Whoa. <laughs> I was right, guys. I was right. Okay, I'm pushing the button. I'm trying to push the button. Oh, I can't get a button there. I pushed it. What happened? Mommy, no, no. Now we have to go back and go back to here. Oh, no. I died. Listen, Stankton. I can't help you out anymore. I have to quit. All right. Um, maybe I just do this. This it'll be better. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> I actually made it that time. Um, now I turned the button on, but now I got to do this all over again. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Wait, I didn't even touch it! How could I have died? It didn't even move. Here we go. I'm like stuck up in the rafters. Okay, there we go. Come on, Molly. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Oh, go, go, go. Okay, so far so good. Now I just have to make it past it on the way back. <laughs> Wait. Uh, do I have to go all the way back to him? No, Molly, go in battle. I, 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 I gotta tell her everything. Oh, finally. Wait, what's going on here? Shh, don't wake up, Gary. I think the formula is in Gary's shell. Go check it out. Inside his shell? Oh, no. Gary just ate us. Ew, Molly, gross. Wow, Gary has some giant teeth. Come on, Molly! I know we're gonna get out of here sooner rather than later. Um, with me playing an obby, I'm not really sure that's true. Oh, what's that say? Snail bites. That's so cute. Molly, don't touch those cans of snail food. They're definitely booby trapped. Okay, I did it. Whoa. It's a fishing lure. Seriously? How do you survive that? You just did, Molly. Gary cannot be killed. <laughs> Looks like he ate SpongeBob's homework. <laughs> Wait a minute. Was that the recipe for the Krabby Patties? Uh, no, I, it's not, but I can't even see what it says. All right, guys. Let's get out of Gary's stomach. Because that's gross. Smells kind of fishy down here. <laughs> where am I going now? I don't even see where I'm going. Okay, there we go. I think there's a... Wait, no. Yes. Okay, there we go. Oh, I fell! No! This part is really hard. Okay, Molly, you can do this. Star Squad fans, I need you to believe in me because this part is really hard and I'm really struggling. And when you guys believe in me, it means so much to me. See? When you guys believe in me, look what happens. I actually accomplish it. Now, where's Daisy? Daisy! You still down there? <laughs> See, the Star Squad fans believed in me, but not you. Molly, that's rude. Um, I didn't know that snails like to eat mushrooms, tomatoes, <laughs> whatever that's supposed to be. What an interesting diet they have. Oh, no. I think we're about to become snail poop. Ew, gross. Ew, gross. Oh, my gosh. This is disgusting. Well, Molly, I guess they always say, better off than in. <laughs> Ew. Wait a minute. Did we do it? Yes, the formula is mine. Hooray, Stankton! You finally got the formula. Ooh, look, Molly. We get all of these amazing cool crowns. Um, I want uh, this one. <laughs> oh, man, I look amazing. Hey, Gary. Thanks for making me snail poop. Not. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching today. This game was kind of weird, but um, we like playing, right, Daisy? We love all Roblox games. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. What's up? It's me, Molly, from the Star Squad. And today, guys, I am playing a very different game. Yeah, guys, this is not Roblox. This is a Steam game called Who's Your Daddy? And basically, I have to try to keep my baby, who is Daisy, alive and not let her do any silly stuff. Oh, is that Daisy? I don't know, but my daddy do boo-boo. 
No, don't take that footstool. Okay, apparently I'm throwing the footstool. <laughs> what do you got? What is that? An outlet? No, 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 no. Come here. How do I pick this baby up? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do right now. Get back here. Whoa, that baby's so fast. The baby is taking stuff off the wall. You naughty little baby. Where'd that baby go? I don't see the baby anywhere. Yoo-hoo, baby! Whoa, I have a sweet car! <laughs> now, wait a minute. Where is my baby? Wait, the, the, the paintings are off the wall? I'm not really sure why, though, because I don't see the baby. Holy guacamole. Where is the baby? I can pick this stuff up. <laughs> You'll never find me. Yes, I will. I'm like so paranoid. She's out in the pool right now. Come on, Daisy. Come down here. I'm not going to give you a snack. Nope. Never coming down again. Oh, now I know you're upstairs. Come on, little baby. It's time for your nap. Where is she? I need to provide. Tastes good. Ah, no. Don't, don't do that. Oh, my gosh. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. I can't provide you. Yeah. You do not want to drink what's under the sink. Gross. Where are you going now? Ah, you step on finger. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to step on your finger. Oh, oh, my gosh. What, what happened to you? I drank it. You drank it? No, don't drink anything. Come here. Oh, my gosh. Baby just died. Oh, my gosh. Server. Baby has died. Oh, look how sad. <laughs> look how sad that baby is. All right, Daisy. This time, you be the dad because this is a lot more difficult than you think. Nope, nope. You should be um, basically the dad forever. Now, watch your baby, Molly. Oh, my gosh. Why does it sound like when I walk, I fart sometimes? What do you got there? What does that say? Outlet covers. Um, no, let's not. And say we did, baby. Now what are you doing? Oh, look, there's a little dog in here who total... Oh, the baby ate the poo, poo Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, no. Okay, wait. I just, I need to pick up the baby. Come here, baby. Come here. I'm trying to pick you up. Why aren't you being picked up? Oh my gosh, baby is as handsome as a father. Somebody get rid of this dog! It keeps pooping on the floor! Naughty dog! Naughty, naughty dog! I jump up like a puppy! Hey, what, what just happened? You killed me, Molly, because I ate the dog doo doo and basically I died! Well, now I'm the baby! Oh, Dad, you're creepy looking. Oh, thanks, Molly. <laughs> you don't sound like a dad at all. Let me out of here. Uh-oh, I'm out of here. Whoa, what's in here? Molly, don't go in, Dale. <laughs> dad, you can't get me. Molly, get back here right now. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Nope. Nope, nope. You're not... Hey, get out of my way! I don't want to go. I'm going to have a dirty diaper soon, Daddy. Ew, no, Molly! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to the pool. Wait a minute. The door is closed. Oh, I keep farting. Do you guys hear that? Open glass door. Whoop, whoop. Where do you think you're going? I'm right here with the pool raft if you think you're going. Hey, what? Seriously? Did you just like... Ah! Daisy! Well, you're not allowed to leave ever. Look at... <laughs> That's not going to stop me. I'm throwing pool rafts at you. Whee! Uh-oh. Oh, I can't swim. Daddy! Daddy, help! Dad! 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 Okay, there's the stairs. Dad, I can't swim! Oh, Dad, I died! Oh, man! Molly, seriously, why'd you jump in the pool? You're like three months old. 
<laughs> Let's see what kind of trouble I can get in now. Guys, if you think I can get in more trouble, slam that like button. Okay, let's let's see if we can jump out of this crib. That's the first mission here. Second mission. Oh, what's this? Uh-oh, daddy! I got something I'm not supposed to have. My dad doesn't even know where I am. Where are you, Marty? <laughs> Uh-oh, here comes dad. Why does he have a hammer? Marty, I was fixing something that you broke. Oh, why are you so hovering over me? Jeepers. Oh, look at this. An outlet. Maybe I should stick my finger in it. Use hammer on power outlet. Okay. How do I use it on the outlet? I don't know. No, no, no. You're not using the hammer on the power outlet. Now we have baby proofness in there. Baby proofness? Really? Is that even a word? No, not really, but I couldn't think. My brain is too going crazy over trying to protect this whole house from you. I've got a hammer, Daisy. I'm not afraid to use it. I wonder if I could eat something in the trash. Ew, Molly! <laughs> Open oven door. Okay. Maybe I can get in the oven. Open oven door. Open cabinet. What's in this cabinet? I don't know. Ow! I hit myself in the head. Whee! Oh my. Uh, Dad, I got a knife! Molly! Oh my gosh! I've got the knife now. You can't find me. You can't find me in here. I found you. No, you can't even see me right now. Molly, you're inside the closet! I know you're in there! Nope, I locked it. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah, having kids is a lot of work. What's in this cabinet? Uh oh! Molly, don't you dare drink that bleach! I'm drinking it! Glug, 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 glug. Drink window cleaner. And the drink the soap. Oh, I don't feel so good! Molly, why did you do that? Dad, help! Oh. I'm turning purple! Help! Molly, all I have in my hand right now is a laser level. Well, that's not gonna cure me! I know, I'm sorry. I can't even move right now. Glug, 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 I'm thirsty. Molly, stop drinking bleach! Are you crazy? That's gonna poison you! Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely turning purple. Dad, are you going to fix me? I'm trying if you'd stop doing silly things. Oh, I can't see straight. Oh, boy, I don't feel so good. I take your temperature. I win! How did you win? I drank bleach and Windex. Because I only have to keep you alive for so long. And then, um, basically... You're fine. No, not fine. That doesn't even make sense. That is a flaw in this game. Okay, well, let's play one more time. This time, I'm going to win again. <laughs> dad looks kind of creepy. Anybody else notice that? Okay, my dad or baby? I don't know. Let's see. Kind of hope I'm baby. I like being full of mischief. Avoid daddy's love. <laughs> Don't let your dad catch you because then you can't do things you're not supposed to, like get into trouble. I keep farting. I think that's hilarious. Punch baby gate bars. Uh, 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 uh. Ow, ow, ow. That really hurts. Why am I doing this? I don't know. So I can win this game. Uh, 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 uh. Punch baby gate bars. 
still punching them. Okay, what happened? I'm still punching the... Oh, my gosh. Oh! <laughs> this fell on me! Now I can't get out. Wee! I'm breaking everything. I think my dad is still, like, taking a nap or something. Ew! Let's go down here. Power outlet! <laughs> I don't know if I can do anything with that, though. I feel like it's too high up. I can't do anything. I gotta, like... Oh, what's in here? Ugh! I can't get in here! Ugh! What is that? It looks like a laser. Grab laser. What's that? <laughs> oh my gosh. How do I shoot this thing? I don't even know how to shoot this thing. Oh, I wish I knew how to shoot this thing. I just figured it out. I think I used them all though. Dad, I'm in your room. Can you get me out? I have a dirty diaper. Dad. Oh, what does that baby want now? He's supposed to be sleeping. <laughs> uh, Dad, can you come here? I'm coming already. Jeez. I'm in your room. I crawled in here to see where you were. You guys, watch this. Dad, stand there for a second. I got to show you something. What? Uh, this. <laughs> oh, Molly Vood! <laughs> Dead. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm out of I'm out of them. Okay, run, run. Dad is behind me. That was fun. <laughs> I shot Dad with that. That was so cool. Yeah, real funny, Molly. Now everybody, run! You can't run very fast, you're a baby. I can run fast enough. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get in the toilet. You better not, you stinky baby. <laughs> I'm gonna drink out of the toilet. Here we go. Oh, I can't reach. I'm t oh, the toilet is huge. Outlet covers. Dad, you're kind of a slob. You just leave everything everywhere on the floor. <laughs> Dad, I close. Ah, Dad, what's wrong with your hand? Ooh, my win again! What was on your hand? A TV. Why was there a TV stuck on your hand? Don't ask me. I didn't make this game. It was just weird. Guys, this game was really weird, and it was our first time playing a Steam game, so, you know, be nice to us. But we thought it was really fun, and if you would like to see more games like this one, let us know in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! park it's so much fun i know what you mean molly uh, but it just makes me really thirsty sometimes because i keep running around like crazy yeah <laughs> Whee! okay i'm gonna go on the trampoline this is gonna be so much fun boing boing whoa i can see the whole town whoa <laughs> i can even see a tree house from up here and hot air balloon it's pretty cool daisy come on the other one Okay, Molly. Whoa, you're jumping really high, though. I know. It's so much fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Daisy, where are you? Daisy, where are you? Is she up in the sky or something? I'm right here, Molly. <laughs> Ew, Molly, you stink. And on that note, I think it's time to go home. What? No, Mom, I don't want to. You guys have been here almost all day. It's time to go home. You need to take your showers, and I need to make dinner. But, Mom, it's so hard being a kid. Like, why can't we just stay here and hang out? Yeah, Mom, why? Because, well, your mom and I said so. 
Oh, Dad, come on. Let's just stay here. We could even camp out. It would be so awesome. Oh, I'm so sorry, girls. If you think being a kid is hard, you should try being a grown-up. Your dad and I have a lot of chores to do when we get home. Oh, I just wish I could be a kid. And I wish I could be a grown-up. That way I could stay as long as I wanted. No one could tell me what to do. Yeah, no one can tell us what to do. <laughs> you guys will be grown up soon enough. But until then, you have to listen to Mom and I. And come on, we have to go home. Oh, man. <laughs> Molly, if you're going to cry about it, we won't come back to the park tomorrow. Okay, fine. Let's go. Oh, I don't like being a kid. Home sweet home. Yeah, I guess. I really wanted to stay at the park for, like, ever. It was so much fun. Well, Molly, we have chores to do, starting with you and your sister needing to take a bath. P.U. Okay, I'll take a bath. <laughs> Molly, not in the dog bath. Molly! <laughs> oh, brother Molly, you're going to get in trouble, but it looks kind of fun. Move over. <laughs> Daisy, no, get out. It's not big enough for both of us. Ugh, are the girls taking a bath in the dog bath again? I tried to tell them not to take a bath in there, but they don't listen. I know. Ugh, but I'm not going to ground them because they at least took a bath. Wow, I'm super thirsty. Mom, can I have something to drink? Can I have dinner? Sure, Molly. Go on into the kitchen. There's some food in there. Okay, here's some bread. Do you want a sandwich or a hot dog? Um, Right now, I'm just thirsty. Uh-oh, all I have is potion. Eh, that'll have to do. Molly, you can't drink potion. Why? It's super delicious. Ugh, Molly, no. Okay, I'll have a sandwich instead then. Mmm, that's delicious. So good. Oh, I still have so much to do tonight. Do you really, Mom? If I were you and I was a grown-up, I'd just watch TV. Well, that's nice, Molly, but then the house would get dirty. There'd be no food in the house. We wouldn't have any dinners. You you wouldn't you wouldn't have anything that you need. Well, that sounds like a lot of work, but I still want to be a grown-up. So that I can have ice cream any time I want. Okay, girls, I think that's enough of that. Time for, for you to go to, to bed. Mom, you sound really tired yourself. Yeah, except for I still have so much left to do. Oh, I wish I was a kid. <laughs> well, I wish I was a grown-up. Good night, girls. Good night, Dad. Have fun doing all your chores. And getting up to getting to stay up late. Yeah, I wish I could stay up late, even if I had to do chores. They don't even know what they're saying right now. Oh, that's not my room. That's a crib. Where's my room? I forget where my room is. Uh, seriously, Molly? This house is so big. It's like a giant mansion. I can't ever remember where I'm going. Is this my room? Oh, finally. Time to get some sleep. Only parents can use this. Are you serious right now? Molly, you have to sleep in the crib like a baby. What? No! I definitely want to be a grown-up then! Why can't I use the bunk beds? It's not fair! <laughs> it's not fair! I don't, Molly. It really isn't fair. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone say they wish they could switch places with their parents? <laughs> Your wish is my command. <laughs> uh, good morning, Daisy. Wow, this crib feels too small all of a sudden. Molly, you look gigantic. What? You look gigantic too. <laughs> Are we dreaming right now? Um, no. I feel so grown up. I don't mean to. It's like I had a growth spot overnight and I'm a grown up all of a sudden. Yeah, I wonder what happened. I don't know, Molly, but it looks like our dream came true. Hooray! Okay, I'm going to go have um some ice cream for breakfast. I'm hungry and no one will make us any breakfast. I know, I'm hungry too. I want my mommy. Whoa! Mom and Dad, what happened to you? You, like, shrunk. They didn't just shrink, Molly. They're little kids. Holy guacamole! Our wish came true. We're the grown-ups, and you guys are the kids. I don't want to be a kid. 
Wait a minute, we wished for this. Maybe this isn't so bad. They can do all the chores. Yeah, now we're in charge. You both have time out. What? But I didn't do anything wrong. I'm eating a small for breakfast and no one can stop me. <laughs> Daisy, that looks delicious. Can I have some? No, I'm a grown-up and I don't have to shoo. And no one can make me. Wow, you guys are terrible at being grown-ups. Yeah, you guys are totally needing to be grounded. Yeah, except for you can't ground me because I'm the grown-up now. <laughs> okay, Dad, time for a nap. But I just woke up. That's okay. Um, You just need to take a nap, okay? What about all the chores? Um, chore s'mores. Did someone say s'more? I love s'mores. <laughs> My evil plan is working. Huh? What? Who said that? I don't know. Who cares, Molly? Wow, something really stinks. That would be the dogs. No one let them out, so they went poop on the floor. Ew, gross! You have to clean it up now because you're the grown-up. What? No, I'm not. Ew, Molly, it really stinks in here. I don't want to nap. It's not my nap time. I'm sorry, but you have to take a nap now. I don't want to take a nap. Okay, um... Whoa, I can pick you up both at the same time. I'm like uber strong. Rock a bye, parents in the treetop. Go to sleep. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Molly, that's a good song. Mm. This s'more's delicious. Ugh, my stomach hurts. Um, that's because you ate too many s'mores for breakfast. <laughs> now, why are you crying? I have a dirty diaper. Wait a minute. Daisy and I weren't in diapers. We switched places. I have a dirty diaper. Oh, my gosh. I didn't sign up for this. Oh, my gosh. How do you think we became grown-ups? I don't know if I could do this. Dirty diapers and chores and... I'm hungry. I want a snack. Oh, brother Molly, this isn't going to be good. I want to go to the park. Why don't we go to the park? Wow. Kids whine a lot. Yeah. Hmm. S'mores. Didn't you just say that your stomach was upset? Don't kill, Molly. I want to eat more s'mores. Oh, no. I changed my mind. I need a nap. Oh, my gosh, Daisy. You can't take a nap. You're a grown-up. I don't know if I want to be a grown-up. Daisy, do you think a witch cursed us? I don't know, Molly. But I wish that we could go back to normal. Whoa, Molly. When you said I, I don't want this to be the way it is anymore... The curse was broken. And you girls have some explaining to do. Hey, you wish to be kids again, so it's not only our fault. And um, I have a stomachache. I think I might throw up from all the s'mores I ate. Oh, girls. Someday you'll be grown-ups, but for now, just leave that to Dad and I. Sounds like a good idea. Hey, can we go to the park? Maybe after we clean this house. Somebody want to take the dog outside? I love this episode. Mm, that is so good. Mm, starving. Mm. Hey, honey. I'm home. Oh, Dan. Hi. Hi. Uh, rough day at work, huh? Are you seriously eating more food? Last time I left, you were eating lots of food. Well, yeah. That was this morning, though. And I've been nonstop eating all day. Mm. This baby just wants to eat all the food. Yeah, um, honey, I have some really bad news. You do? What's wrong, hon? I, I, I lost my job today. Say what? You lost your job? Our baby's coming in like a week. We need that money for baby formula and diapers and, and clothes and stuff. The baby's not going to have what it needs. I'm sorry, honey. It wasn't my fault. Basically, the restaurant's closing. What? Brookhaven Diner? Yeah, the owners decided that it's just not worth it for him to make grilled cheeses anymore. He's going to retire to the Bahamas. And so I don't have a job. Oh, no. What are we going to do? This is the worst news ever. Don't worry, honey. I'm going to go out as soon as I have dinner and do some, like, job hunting or whatever. Nowhere is hi hiring in Brookhaven right now. Oh, my gosh. Our poor baby. How are we going to buy diapers for her? 
Well, Dan, let's look in the paper and see if we can find a job in there. Good idea. I just don't feel very hopeful right now. Wait, Dan, look at this. You know that new Toy Factory Playtime Co? Yeah. Well, they're hiring 20 bucks an hour. We could both get jobs there. I don't know, honey. You're really pregnant. Maybe you shouldn't get a job there. I can just work till the baby comes. It would be $40 an hour between the two of us. We could even afford a vacation, maybe. Oh, wow. That would be amazing, but probably not on the vacation. Why? Because we're poor. We can't afford vacations, and we're about to have a baby. Oh, Laura, you need to get your priorities straight. Yeah, you're probably right. But anyway, we could still afford, like, the baby formula and the diapers and stuff. Yeah, we totally could afford that. L let's let's call them and see if we can get it, get a job. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, is this Playtime Co? Yes. Um, my wife and I saw your ad in the paper for needing some new employees, $20 an hour. We're wondering if you're still hiring. You're perfect. Show up tonight about 8 o'clock. Okay, um, then we have to do a job interview? Nah, I can tell by your voice over the phone. You two are going to be gullible. I mean, perfect. Um, okay. 20 bucks an hour for each of us, right? That's right. <laughs> um, is this a prank or is this really Playtime Co? Because I usually have to have an interview. Honey, don't, don't say that. We need the job. This is the owner of Playtime Co. So yeah, it's real. Okay, well, thank you so much. We'll see you tonight. Honey, he gave us both a job. Hooray! Oh, I can't jump that much. I ate way too many bur burritos, and the baby's going to get a concussion. Wait, you ate burritos today, too? I don't even care. I'm just so happy that we got jobs. Oh, today was the worst day, and now it's turned into the best day. I never made $20 an hour at the diner. Well, we're going to make it now. Whoa, Dan, look at this place. It's huge. I didn't know we had a toy factory this big in Brookhaven. Me either. Wow. And they're paying 20 bucks an hour. We're going to be rich. I know. And our sweet little baby girl will have the best life. Yeah. <laughs> Both of our parents working at $40 an hour, we'll be able to afford lots of fun things. Trips to Disney. Well, come on. We don't want to be late, Dan. It's our first day. It won't look really good if we're late. Oh, this place is insane. Hello, I'm Elliot Ludwig. Um, hi, uh, I'm Dan, and this is my wife, Laura, and we just got offered jobs here, $20 an hour, to help make toys. Okay, go have a look around. See where you're going to be working. Oh, okay, cool. Wow, this place is a little creepy, actually. Welcome to Playtime Co. Wow, look at this place, Dan. Oh, wow, they have a cafeteria. I'm happy. <laughs> I love eating cheeseburgers. Dan, we can't eat yet. It's, it's time for work. Okay, fine, but at lunchtime, I'm coming back here and I'm eating pizza and cheeseburgers. Okay, well, let's go back and talk to Elliot Ludwig because he's the one that's gonna give us our job and we really, really need this for our baby. Did you have a good look around? Uh, yeah, we did. We took this job because... I don't care why you took the job. <laughs> I just want you to know that now you're mine. Um, yeah, for eight hours a day. Forty hours a week, of course, we are. But then we're going to go home. And also, my wife needs some maternity leave in about a week because she's going to have a baby. What? No, you're not going to have a baby. It's a lie. Um, actually... It's a lie! And you're trapped. <laughs> and now, you will become monsters like the rest of us. Say what? What are you talking about, Elliot? Uh, Laura, this is what I think you meant by becoming science experiments. I can't, I can't move. I can't move either. I think he's made us into, into toys. Or he's about to. Why can't we move? <laughs> because the gamma rays in this room turn you into monster toys. <laughs> now you can't move a muscle, and you'll be turning into monsters in no time. But my baby! No! I, I, I'm gonna have a baby! I'm pregnant! I don't care. <laughs> you will be one of my minions, just like the rest. Not if I can do anything about it! Can you though, Dan? Can you do anything about it? Not really. I can't really move, like I said. 
<laughs> Dan? W what happened to us? We're, we're monsters! <laughs> exactly. You're beautiful and evil. All in the same package. We don't want to be ugly monsters. Actually, Dan, I, I don't feel evil, but I am ugly. I feel like I might start getting evil any minute. I mean, look at these teeth. They can't be friendly, right? <laughs> Your evil transformation is just beginning, Huggy Wuggy. Who's he calling Huggy Wuggy? What a weird name. Your name is Kissy Missy. No, it's not. It's Laura, and he's Dan. <laughs> not anymore. Dan, look at that. There's a switch right there, right in front of you. If you can just find the willpower to switch it, maybe it'll turn us back. I don't know, Laura. He seems pretty evil, and, and I can't really move my arms or legs. It's like he's in control of us. <laughs> what are you two talking about that, down there? Is it evil plans? Yeah, evil, exactly. Dan, come on. Use all your willpower. Go forward and hit the button. Okay, I'll try. Ugh. Dan, it worked, it worked! No! What have you done? Dan, run! Laura, I don't know if you should go down that conveyor belt. I know, but what other choice do we have? Come on, we have to get out of here! Wait, wrong way. Okay, I can do this, I can do this. Get back here. <laughs> You'll never escape. We will escape. We have to for our baby, Dan! Oh my gosh, which way do I go? There's all these chutes, and, and I'm not sure which one goes where. Laura, hurry up. Come on. Oh, you got in front of me, Dan. I didn't even see you. You're very sneaky. Yeah, we've got to figure out how to sneak around Elliot Ludwig before he catches us again. Oh, my gosh. Dan, this is where he mass produces all those monster toys. Okay, everything's going to be fine, Laura. We can figure a way out of here. I just know it. I hope so. Our baby, she needs us. Oh my gosh, that's what I used to look like. Oh my goodness, don't go down there. It says to hell. Yeah, that's definitely not where we want to go. Wait a minute, I think this door is blocked. We have to go this way. It says staff only. Well, I don't know. I guess we're going to have to take the stairs. Oh, MG. Okay, well, let's just close our eyes and pretend this isn't happening because I'm sure it's going to be creepy. Dan, we made it out. Come on, let's run before he finds us. Good idea, Laura. Oh, I could really use a cupcake right now. Oh, you're always thinking about your stomach. Come on, Dan. Sorry, I'm just really hungry. So, um, how are we going to pay for the baby formula and diapers now? I don't know, but it's not worth working there. That's for sure. Oh my gosh, Dan. I'm so glad we're home safe. Oh. That was the craziest job I've ever had. Me too, but at least we didn't get turned into those monsters forever. Ugh, my stomach hurts. Dan, I don't feel so good. Laura? Laura, oh my gosh, you okay? Oh my gosh, I think the baby's coming. Don't worry, Laura. I'll get you to the hospital really quickly. The ambulance will take too long. I'll just, I'll just run there. Uh, what's going on? It's so bumpy. Am I going to have the baby now? Yeah, you are. I'm going to take you there, Laura. I'm going to take you to the hospital. Everything's going to be fine. Baby's going to be fine. You're going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. I definitely need a cupcake. I, never, I, I need a cupcake. Dan, are you saying that I'm fatter than normal and that's why you need the energy to carry me there? Um, well, uh, you do have an eight-pound baby in your stomach, so yeah, you are a little fatter. Dan, rude! Sorry. <laughs> I'm just nervous, I guess. And I say silly things when I'm nervous. Laura, just hold on. The doctor's going to be here any minute. I hope so, because the baby's coming any minute. Oh, I'm not sure I can hold mom much longer. I need to push. Laura, seriously, everything's going to be fine. Just wait for the doctor, please. Did someone say they needed a doctor? Oh, wow. He looks really familiar, doesn't he? Yeah, his voice sounds familiar. Oh, nonsense. I've never met you before in my life. Your hair looks really familiar, too. Like, kind of crazy, like a mad scientist. Who cares? He's a doctor, and I'm about to have this baby! Wing! Wing! Oh my gosh, my baby! Let me see her! Let me see her! Let my wife...
wife see her baby? <laughs> I don't think so. Wait a minute. Elliot Ludwig from Playtime Co? You're, you're, you're a doctor? Who cares if he's a doctor? He's got our baby. You won't want this baby anyway. This baby's a monster. What? No, she's not. <laughs> yes, she is. Her name is Kissy Missy. What? Maybe when the per the curse happened, it, it changed the baby, and, and, and the baby didn't turn back. What? No! <laughs> she needs to come to Playtime Co. where she belongs. Get back here with our baby! Laura, are you okay? I need to chase after him. Yeah, go, Dan, go! It's no use! He's locked us in the room! What? No! My baby! Laura, we've been putting up these flyers for Kissy Missy for three years. I think our daughter is lost. I mean, Playtime Co. moved to a different city, and we don't know which one because he went undercover. I know. It's just that I can't live without my daughter, and I have a feeling that Elliot Ludwig is still in Brookhaven. He moved, Laura, to an undisclosed location, probably, probably a private island somewhere out in the middle of the Caribbean. Ugh, I know, but I can't give up hope for our daughter. Even if she's a monster? Even if she's a monster. Who is that little kid? I've never seen them before. I don't know, but she's kind of pink. Yeah, she does look kind of pink. Wait a minute. Kissy Missy? Is, is that you? Hi, I'm Kissy Missy. Oh, my gosh! I'm a, I'm your mom! What? No, you're not. I don't have a mom. Only a creator named Elliot Ludwig. Well, that's not true. Your mom gave birth to you, and I'm your dad. He just wanted to trick you. Well, I don't look like either one of you. That's because he cursed us to be monsters, but we found the cure. And, well, since you were not born yet, you didn't get the cure. So I'm this freak forever? We'll try to find a cure, Kissy Missy, but we'll love you just as you are, if you want to come be with us. Yeah, you're real mom and dad. Um, I have to think about it. Okay, I'll be your daughter forever. Elliot Ludwig is weird and crazy and mean, and I don't want to live in Playtime Co. We need to call the police. No, you can't. Then he'll know where we are. We have to move far away, maybe to Blacksburg, somewhere no one goes anymore. Okay, well, if it means we can all be together, we'll move to Blacksburg. And we'll be a happy family, no matter what. As long as the three of us are together, everything's gonna be a-okay. Molly, give me that TV remote. I don't think so, I'm watching Brooke High. Molly, give me it. It's my turn with the TV. <laughs> you can't catch me. Nee, 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 nee. Oh yeah, Molly, watch me. Ah! Are you are you spraying me with a fire extinguisher? Daisy, that's so rude. Give it to me, Molly. I want to watch the news. Seriously, what are you a hundred? Why would you want to watch the news? Boring. Molly, turn the channel to the news station. Oh my goodness, my sister's such a brat. I'll show you right now, Lydia. I can't believe I'm on the news. This is super cool. Whoa. Uh, and now you never have to water again? That's right. I just give my plants a little pat, though, because I want them to know I still care about them. Oh, that's sweet. Wow. I don't have feelings so good. Oh, I feel very strange. You're probably just nervous from being on TV. That happens to a lot of people. I want to eat your brains. What? What did you just say? I want to eat your brains. Ah! Oh my god, the owner of, of Dr. Green Thumb has turned into a zombie. You heard it first, folks, here on News Channel 10. This could be the story of a lifetime. Oh my gosh, the new potion that Dr. Dr. Green Thumb's business created. 
turns everything green into a zombie infection. That's right, Brookhaven residents. Don't touch the color green. Unless, of course, you want to be a brain-eating zombie. Marley, did you hear that? That, 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 that sounds insane. What? <laughs> I think they must be joking. Is it April Fool's Day? No, Marley. It's not April Fool's Day. It's July. April Fool's Day happens in April. Okay, well, that can't be true. Every green plant in Brookhaven, if you touch it, will turn you into a zombie. That would be like the end of the universe. Yeah, well, I think it must be true because I saw it on the news. Nah, the news is full of fluff. And, um... I think it's a lot of... Oh, Marley, did you just fart? Yeah, it's a lot of doo-doo. That's what it is. Oh, boy, Marley. Please tell me you won't touch the color green. Please! Hey, Molly. What's up? Oh, you playing some soccer? Hey, Brookie. Nice to see you. Did you see the news? Uh, no, I never watch the news. It bores me so much. Me too. So, you didn't hear anything weird going on in Brookhaven? No, not at all. Wanna hang out? Yeah, sure. Okay, let me just go put my bike over there in the grass. Um, I don't think I should touch the... Uh, don't, don't touch the... Oh, don't be silly, Molly. That was just a prank. Oh, wow. I don't feel so good. Uh... Brookie? Oh my god, it wasn't a prank. Molly, how could you? The news was telling the truth. Uh, don't look now, but our BFF is having... Some major problems. <laughs> brains. Give me all your brains. Yeah, I should say so. Poor Bookie. I never thought that it would come to this. Well, as long as we don't touch the color green, everything should be fine, right, Daisy? Yeah, exactly. We can avoid the color green, like forever, right? Yeah, totally. So sad. I lost my best friend to the zombie apocalypse. Molly, your shirt! It has green on it! A little green alien! Huh, what? Ah! Oh my god. And so is it everything green? Because I've been touching this the whole time and I'm not a zombie. Oh, maybe it's just the plants and the trees and everything living. So your shirt is okay. Oh, hopefully the whole town isn't a zombie yet. I'm gonna go out and take a look. Okay, the door won't open now. Uh -huh. Unlock! Uh, I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get a cupcake. What a stressful day! Ooh, look at that green apple. That looks delicious. No! Don't touch that! Didn't you watch the news? What? No, I'm starving. Ah! You're touching the color green! Oh my gosh, you're gonna turn into a zombie. What are you talking about? I think this apple tastes fine. Ugh, my stomach kind of hurts now. I guess I wasn't that hungry. Here you go, you can have it. Oh! Ah! Why did I catch that? Oh my god, no! 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 Oh, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh. It's happening, isn't it? I'm gonna turn into a zombie! Brains. Brains. Why can't I get up off the ground? I'm a lazy zombie. Ah, uh, so much like my human self. Molly? No! Molly, not you too! My sister! No! Molly, you stay back. Stand back for me, Molly. Uh, I want to eat your brain, sister. I am so hungry. I better go to my science lab. Try to reverse this horrible potion. Molly, please. Oh, no. Brains. want to eat your brains. Let me in. Don't you want a nice, delicious cupcake, Molly? You love cupcakes. Yes. Brain cupcakes. Stop saying brains! Brains. Wow, you're even annoying as a zombie. Go figure. I've been working night and day for an entire week, but I think I know how to reverse the zombie apocalypse that's happening. All I have to do is mix up this potion, and I should be able to cure all of Brookhaven by putting a few traps in the water source. I just hope I'm not too late for my sister Molly. As annoying as she is, she's more annoying wanting to eat my brains. City of Brookhaven, don't worry. Scientist Daisy will cure you all. I'm on my way. Uh-oh. Did I just touch the color green? Oh, no. 
I've doomed all of Brookhaven! It's happening! It's happening! All of Brookhaven is now zombified! Brains! I want brains! Mom! Mom! Mommy! Mom! 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 Mama! Mommy! 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 Mama! 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 Molly, what is going on? What's gotten into you? I have a question. Mom! 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 Okay, what is it, Molly? Um, can I have some ice cream? Molly, no, you know it's right before dinner. Of course you can't have ice cream. But I'm hungry! Molly, dinner is in the oven. It'll be ready in 10 minutes. You can wait that long. No, I can't! I'm starving! Mom, help! Can't wait any longer! Send ice cream! Molly, you're being so dramatic right now. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? What happened? Uh, she wants to eat ice cream for dinner. I'll do CPR! Dad, no! No! You need to send ice cream. I don't need CPR. You look like you might need CPR. Are you dying? Yeah, I'm totally dying without ice cream. It's not fair. I can't eat what I want. Why can't I make my own decisions? Because, Molly, you'd make bad ones. That's why you're a kid and I'm a grown-up. Oh, man. <laughs> look at these adorable dogs. I love this. Dad! Um, I can't do my homework. What? Why, why not? Um, Daisy's watching dog videos on the internet, and, um, I need to use the computer for my homework, so... Guess I don't have to do it tonight. Molly, pff, whatever. You still have to do your homework. Ask Daisy nicely to get off the computer. I'm already off of it, Molly. It's all yours. Nah, I'm just gonna skip it. Molly, no, you're not. The answer's no. Go do your homework. Ugh. The answer is always no, it seems. Oh, yeah, yeah. Something's wrong with the computer. Molly, you just have to learn how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that funny dog. It's smiling. <laughs> Molly, do your homework already. Family, dinner's ready. Huh, fine. I don't know why we can't eat chocolate ice cream instead. Because, Molly, you can't eat chocolate ice cream for dinner. Can I when we're on vacation? No. But, but it's vacation! Well, who cares? Right now it's not vacation, so just eat the cheeseburger I made you, please. It's delicious. I made it out of a veggie patty. What? <laughs> Ew, vegetables? No way! I love Mom's veggie patties. You would, Daisy. You would. Well, Maria's you still eating it? Of course I am. I'm starving. What else is there to eat around here? Molly, could you stop yelling? You're so loud. Yeah, Molly, why don't you take it down just a notch? Ooh, I want to have ice cream for dinner. What? That, uh, uh, that, that's, that's not fair! Actually, it's very fair. <laughs> I'm a grown-up, so I can eat what I want. Dear, we're supposed to be setting a good example. Yeah, set a good example, Dad. Eat a veggie burger instead. Not a chance. I don't like those. They're gross. Hey, I worked hard on this dinner. Okay, bye. I'm going to watch TV. Uh, if only I could live a life like my dad. Mom, mom, mom. Yes, girls. Oh, it's getting very late. You should get to bed. No, actually, mom, now that we're done with dinner, I was wondering, can we go swimming in the pool? What? N no, it's almost midnight. You can't go swimming in the pool at midnight on a school night. <laughs> Molly, you're asking such crazy questions. What's wrong with you? Daisy, can I see you in the other room, please? What is it, Molly? OMG! Our parents say no to everything! Yeah, you do have a point there, Molly, but that's because you have crazy questions or crazy requests. But they're still my requests! Why do they have to say no to everything? Can they just say yes to one thing? Either ice cream for dinner or no homework or swimming at midnight? No, we can't say yes to anything, Molly. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Mom, Dad, Daisy and I have decided something. We did? Wait a minute. I didn't know I was a part of this decision. What are we telling them? Wait, I don't want to get in trouble. It was all Molly's fault. Okay, girls, what is it? You guys say no to everything. Well, that's not true. We don't say no to you doing your homework, eating healthy. Exactly. Anything that's fun is off limits. I propose that we have one day that's a yes day. Hmm. I don't know, Dan. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea. 
Whoa, Molly, you kind of had a good idea for once. I know, right? Tomorrow, um, our parents can only say yes. Do you guys agree? Well, as long as it's nothing dangerous. What do you say, Dan? I don't see why we couldn't do that. All right, tomorrow is a yes day. Okay, well, it's already tomorrow because <laughs> it's almost 2 a.m. What? Go to bed. Tomorrow's school. Um, no. Tomorrow, I'm not going to school, okay? Oh. All right. Yes, you can stay home. Ha <laughs> ha! Skip day, skip day, skip day. And also, I'd like to stay up late. It's already late. Go to bed, Molly. Okay, I'll give you that. It is pretty late. But tomorrow, as soon as I wake up, <laughs> everything is a yes. Good morning, parents. Good morning, Molly. You're up pretty early for staying up so late. I'm so excited about today. I don't want the next 24 hours to pass me by while I'm sleeping. Wow, maybe every day we should say yes and get you out of bed on time. Yeah, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mountain of waffles with chocolate ice cream on top. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds super unhealthy, Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Yeah, doesn't matter if it's unhealthy. I get to eat it because today is a yes day. So can I have chocolate on top of my waffles? Mm, uh, uh. Okay, yes you can. Ha ha ha! Daisy, you want chocolate on top of your waffle? Absolutely, Molly. I'm still kind of tired. I could use an energy boost. Uh, Daisy, there's no laying on the counter. It's a yes day. You have to say yes and I want to lay on the counter. Okay, yes, I guess you can. Mm. Okay, now I gotta get the waffle. Okay, let's see, I've got the ice cream. Just a little bit of waffle. Mm -hmm. So delicious, waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Ugh, I ate too much. <laughs> I'm stuffed. What do we got to drink? Ooh, Bloxier, delicious. Molly, don't forget to shut the refrigerator door. I don't have to. It's not my day to do it. Molly. Uh, Mom, I think you should su shut the refrigerator door. Ugh, Molly, really? Okay, I'll do it since it's a yes day. Daisy, are you ever going to wake up? We have important things to do. Come on, I want to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? Well, so far we've had waffles with ice cream, but maybe we should ask for something bigger. Like what, Molly? Like, what if we borrow Mom's car? What? She's never going to let us do that. She has to. It's a yes day. Oh, Mom! What is it now, Molly? I'm kind of afraid to ask. Can we um, borrow your car? What? No way. Are you crazy? Uh, Mom, don't forget. It's a yes day. Oh. All right. But be careful, okay? We will. Come on, Daisy. <laughs> I'm going to ride in mom's car. I'm going to ride in mom's car. It's going to be super amazing. Ooh, it's beautiful. Mom's car is so amazing. Yeah, except for she has to get that license plate changed. It still says gaming with Dan on it. Yeah, it's totally not dad's though. It's mom's. He never drives it. Molly, it appears to me that you've never driven at all. Okay, I've never driven this car. I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. Ugh, ugh. Okay, I'm on the road. I'm good. Molly, watch out for that bush. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got to go over the bridge. Yeah, don't go down into the grass. Let's play some awesome music. P I G G Y. A piggy is after me. A P I G G Y. Oh, Piggy, won't you set me free? Molly, you're all over the road. Turn down the music. You're not paying attention. I'm totally paying attention. Molly, you just took out that sign. Molly, what are you doing? Whoa. 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 Oh, my God. Daisy, I just put Mom's car in the pool. OMG, Molly. Get out. Get out. Daisy, I can't. My door is stuck. Ah! Daisy, I'm going down with the fishes. Molly, there's no fishes in the pool. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be the only fish and I can't breathe underwater. Molly, just hang tight. I'll get out an axe. You just carry an axe around? 
Yeah, for emergencies, of course. Okay, step back, Molly. I don't know about this, Daisy. Molly, what's your alternative? Going to the bottom of the pool forever? Wait, I'm out! Daisy, you did it! Oh, my gosh. Molly, how are we going to tell Mom about our car? Um, well, we could just, like, tell her that, uh... Uh, how can I word it so that she has to say yes that this is okay? Hmm, let me think about this. We could say to her, um... Mom, you're totally fine with us crashing your Jeep into the pot, the pool, right? And she'll have to say yes. That's genius! Mom, you have to be okay with us driving your Jeep into the pot. I keep saying pond! Me too, Marty. <laughs> it's pool. Let's practice again. Mom, you're totally cool with me driving your Jeep into the pool, right? Yes, I'm totally cool with it. Ah, this should be fine. Let's go home. Molly, I'm a little nervous. She's going to freak out. I don't think so. I mean, she has to say yes. It's still the yes day. Oh, boy. This might not go as planned. Hey, where's your mom's Jeep? I was going to take that to go over to the grocery store. Oh, uh, Mom let us borrow it. Oh, she did? Wait, what? She did? Yeah, she had to say yes. Remember, because it's yes day? Oh, boy. I can't believe she let you drive her prized Jeep. She sure did. Okay, well, bye. Well, wait a minute. You guys are here and the Jeep's not. Where, where is it? Uh, see you later, Dad. Oh, boy. That didn't go so good with Dad, Molly. How do you think it's going to go with Mom? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. Oh, hey, girls. How was your drive in my Jeep? Um, it was amazing, Mom. Yeah, totally, except for the end. What do you mean, except for the end? <laughs> I didn't hear you girls pull in. Where, where's the car? Um, uh, Molly, remember what we practiced? Oh, yeah. You're totally okay that I drove your Jeep into the pool, right? What? You what? Oh, my gosh, you drove my... Uh, wait a minute. You, you're kidding, right? <laughs> you're kidding right now, right? <laughs> you're just teasing me, right? You're pranking me? No, Mom, it's a yes day, so you have to be fine that we drove your Jeep into the... You really did drive my Jeep into the pool? Uh, yes? Oh, I don't like yes day anymore. Well, Mom, I can see that you want to take a nap in the kitchen right now, so I know you're really tired from doing the dishes all the time and stuff. Could I have a $1,000? What? She's gone insane, Daisy. Well... In her defense, yes day hasn't gone so well for her. Does that mean I can have a thousand dollars? I guess that means yes, since it's a yes day. Thanks, Mom! I got all the cash money! I got all the cash money! Molly, what are you gonna do with that much money anyway? Um, duh! I'm gonna go to the ice cream store and I'm gonna buy all the ice cream in the world. What? Seriously? <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. I'll bring you back a mint chocolate chip. I know it's your favorite. Okay, sorry. I'm just going to step over you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, we might be able to get your Jeep out of the pool later. But first, we're going to go to the ice cream shop. Whoa. <laughs> There's Mom's Jeep. Oh, well. It was a nice Jeep while we knew it. Marty, she's not going to be happy tomorrow when that um Jeep isn't out of the pool yet. Well, if she wants it out of the pool, then she needs to work on getting it out of there. Oh, boy. Yeah. Good thing it's a yes day because we'd be grounded otherwise. Wait, why isn't anybody here? I don't know, Marley. Maybe they're on their afternoon break. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave the money right here. I'm going to take all the ice cream. Seriously, Marley? Yeah, pretty much. I'm going to start with some bubble gum. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some birthday cake. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some mint chocolate chip. Super delicious. Oh, I forgot about the vanilla. Molly, you're going to get a stomachache. No, I'm not. I dare you. I can eat more ice cream than you. We'll have to see about that one, Molly. Ooh, chocolate. Mm. Mm. So good. Molly, did you eat $1,000 worth yet? Not even close. Molly, why did we eat all that ice cream? Oh. Definitely need to throw up. Definitely. Uh, I've got to go to the bathroom. 
Where is there a bathroom? Molly, I don't think there is a bathroom. What? No! Ah! Molly, maybe this yes day wasn't such a good idea. What? Don't talk like that, Daisy! Well, I mean, we drove the Jeep into the pool. We ate too much ice cream. Maybe our parents knew what was good for us all along. What? I'll never, I'll never surrender to that idea. <laughs> Ever! Molly, I think I'm going to be sick. Uh, uh, me too. Uh, so much ice cream. Molly, get off of me. Why are you laying on me? Sorry. I just, I was trying to get to the bathroom so I could... Bleh. Ew, Molly, gross. I don't want any more yes days. Never again. I don't know what you're talking about, Daisy. <sighs> I'm going to have a yes day again tomorrow. Well, you can do it alone, Molly. This is just crazy. Wow, Molly, can you believe it? It's our first time at summer camp. This is going to be amazing. Hi, I'm new at summer camp too. Oh, wow, looks like we're already starting to make some friends. I can't believe we came all the way to northern Canada for our first summer camp. I know, it's actually a little chilly. Look, there's snow on the on the ground this morning. I can't wait to make a snowball. <laughs> they call this summer. It's 90 where we live. Whoa, Daisy, that's a huge snowball. I'm running. Attention campers. If you're new here, you can find your itinerary on the right-hand side of your backpack. Ooh, an itinerary. Wait a minute. Is this like school? Oh, whoa, meal time, my favorite time of the day. Molly, is that all you think about? Yeah, pretty much. Where's the chow hall, though? Um, bedroom, wait, school? Are you serious right now? Daisy, did you trick me into coming to summer school? Uh, no, Molly, seriously, it's just like art class and fun stuff. Okay, but first I need to find out where breakfast is. I'm starving. Aha, I smell something delicious. I must be at the food tent. Wait, is this breakfast? Because I really want it. Um, actually, that just looks like water. Wait, where's the food? Molly, it's over here. Good grief. I knew I smelled something. Hmm, what's this? Oatmeal? Oh, that looks pretty good, actually. <laughs> Meal time is over. Put your dishes in the cleaning tent. I didn't even eat it yet. I better eat it, like, really fast. Yum, 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 yum. Molly, over here, you can put your dirty dishes right here, and um, they'll get all cleaned up. Oh, that's a good idea. Ta-da! Look at me, I'm actually doing a good job. Yeah, except for you hardly ate anything, Molly. Are you homesick? No, I just had trouble finding the food tent. <laughs> Must be my nose is broken. I can usually always smell food from like a mile away. It's okay, Molly. You're probably just getting used to our new summer camp. Yeah, you can say that again. So it's time for team activities. Yeah, let's go play. I can't wait to make some new friends. Wait a minute. Daisy? Yeah, Molly, what is it? Who, who's that over there sitting at the table? I don't know. I can't really see that far away. Who is it? It's, it's, it's Sarah? What are you doing all the way up in northern Canada? What's it look like I'm doing, loser? I came to summer camp. Why did you come to the same summer camp that Daisy and I did? Ah, uh, rude. Because this is like a really great summer camp. Why are you losers here? We're not losers. We got accepted this summer camp, so we wanted to come here. Well, don't hang around me, losers. Don't hang around me either. And we're not losers. Oh, I thought Sarah was back in Brookhaven. Turns out she followed us to summer camp. Come on, Molly. Let's try not to think about Sarah the bully being here and go play some team activities. How about dodgeball, Molly? Sounds fun to me. Okay, um, it's owls versus wolves. Uh, owls are just like friendly, so I'm not really sure how we're gonna do against the wolves. Owls aren't necessarily friendly. We can win dodgeball. Trust me about this, Molly. Um, where's the balls? I, I need to have one so I can like throw it at these people. They're right there, Molly. Get one. Uh oh. Ah. Okay, I dodged that one. I'm so happy about that right now. <laughs> Hey, get away from me! Don't throw that ball at me. I'm gonna take it from you. Seriously. Hey, how do I steal a ball? Molly, just grab it already. All right, I got one. 
I'm not gonna throw it at you! <laughs> yes, I'm still in the game! That's the. Ah, you stole my ball! <laughs> Got it! Molly, I'm on your team! Why'd you throw it at me? Um, because I'm not very good at this game. Hiya! Oh man, she totally got, like, just totally hit by that ball. Oh, her too. Molly, get out of the way! Oh man! I totally got hit by the dodgeball. I'm terrible at dodgeball. <laughs> I'm gonna watch the rest of my teammates, though. Oh, Daisy's still in the game! Daisy, go, go, go! I'm gonna win this super game. I'm gonna be so amazing. Yetis, you really will be. Oh, it's just Daisy against two other wolf players. Go, Daisy, go, Daisy, go! Go, 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 Daisy, go, Daisy, go! Holy guacamole. Oh, Daisy, you got this. You got this, girl. You got this! Thanks for the vote of confidence, Molly. I really need that. Aww. She's going up against Hermione, though. From, like, Harry Potter. She'll use magic on you. Be careful. It's getting crowded. Everybody's watching. Oh, that person threw a dodgeball over the fence. Run, Daisy! Run like the wind! <laughs> oh, my gosh, Daisy. You're gonna lose. Hey! I thought you were trying to make it so that I won by being my cheerleader. Yeah, but now it just seems like you're gonna lose. Molly, I'm not gonna lose. <sighs> but I'm definitely gonna need a snack after this. Ha ha ha! Daisy took one down! Oh yeah! Good job, Daisy. Okay, it's just you against uh Lucky. Uh no, Molly, I won. What? Oh my gosh, Daisy, wait, there's still one player. I don't get that. She um she she I don't know, but I won. I won dodgeball! I got a huge trophy! Do, 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 do. I won for the whole hours group, and I'm very proud of that. You should be, man. You're super good at summer camp. Marley, we should display this in the owl cabin. Everyone will be so proud of this win. I think that's a great idea, Daisy. You can put it right there if you want. Uh, yep, this is a perfect spot for it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, speaking of dinner, it's time for lunch. I'm starving. All you want to do at summer camp is eat. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I love eating. It's like the perfect summer for me. And this time, I know exactly how to get to the food tent. Cheeseburgers! One of my absolute favorites! Mm, mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm. Um, wait, oh, they have sandwiches too. Um, I'm super hungry, so I'm eating a sandwich too. <laughs> Don't think I'm a pig, guys. I'm just really hungry, so... Ugh, really? You're gonna eat two meals? That is just so, like, gross. What? No, it isn't. I'm just thirsty and hungry, and I'm gonna have both because... I just played, like, an intense game of dodgeball, Sarah. Something you wouldn't even understand because you're not participating in any of the activities. You're just sitting around here being grumpy and mean. Yeah, Sierra, exactly. Whatever, losers. You don't even know how to be good at summer camp. How do you be good at summer camp? You just participate and, like, like make friends and stuff. Well, have you made any friends? Um, well, not yet, but I'm gonna. Yes, yeah, Sierra, we're gonna. Uh, Daisy, let's go caving. That sounds amazing. Uh, but what about the odd ten? We can do that later. Caving, caving, caving! Okay, fine. Let's go caving. Don't sound too excited, Daisy. Well, I am excited, but I wanted to make some art today. You wanted to make some farts? What did you say? <laughs> Molly! I said art. Okay, yeah, sure you did. <laughs> Got your flashlight, Daisy? Sure do, Molly. We're all ready to go. Ready, Molly? Um, I guess. This looks like a giant drop, though, Daisy. Well, ready or not, let's go! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, are you okay, Chocolate? I'd be better if you didn't land on my head. Yeah, that probably would feel better. Whoa, Daisy, this place is kind of creepy. I feel like the abominable snowman's gonna live in here. Well, he might, Marley, he might. Oh, whoa, you can go down here, you can go up here. Marley, we should stick together at all times. You're probably right. If we get lost down in here, we'd never find our way out. Whoa. What's this? 
Oh my gosh. If you go down there, you're going to go farther into the cave. Doing it. Molly. Ow. 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 Ouch. That hurt, Molly. Ow. Whoa. Daisy, I'm kind of stuck. Daisy. Oh my gosh. Go get a camp counselor. Oh my gosh. How am I going to get out of here now? Oh no, Molly. What? What's gonna happen? I don't know. It's like it's like I'm just stuck. I can't get out of here. I'm freaking out. I really don't like this at all. Molly, hold on. I'll get a camp counselor for you. Wait a minute. No, I think I figured it out, Daisy. You kind of gotta like swim out of here. It's it's really weird. Molly, that's because you're underwater. Of course you have to swim out. Oh, is that what that liquid is? Molly, um, did you hit your head when you went down there? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Molly. I think you might have gotten a bonk on your head. You didn't even know that was water. Maybe we should get out the first aid kit for you. No, no. I'm feeling much better now. Just a little cold. Okay, well, let's go explore more of the cave. And maybe get out of here. It's almost time for dinner. Oh, I'm having trouble remembering where I just was. Molly, I think you got a concussion when you jumped down into that part of the cave. Nah, I'm fine. Molly, I think we should go to the camp nose. Daisy, I think this is the way out. I see light, Daisy. I see light. Yeah, Daisy, we made it back out. That was amazing. Molly, let's go over to the nose. I want you to have your bonk checked. I mean, you didn't even know you were underwater. That's just weird. Okay, fine. Let's see if they even have a nurse. I don't want to drink that, Daisy. But the nurse said if you if you took this, it would make your concussion go away. The medicine tastes awful. Molly, you need to take this medicine potion or your summer camp is going to be ruined. Fine. Wait a minute. Look at that pink elephant over there. What? What pink elephant? Oh, my gosh. Your concussion's getting worse, Molly. Drink that right now. But I want to ride the pink elephant's back. Hi, pink elephant. Oh, you're so cute. Molly, drink it! Okay, fine. There, I drank it. Ew, it tasted kind of gross. How do you feel? Whoa, I feel like myself again. Good, Molly. Now let's go to dinner. I think our first day at summer camp's been pretty crazy. I couldn't agree more, but I love it. Me too. Uh, except for I have my dance camp in just three days. So I'm going to be leaving. Yeah, but I'm going to stay a whole extra week. Yeah, but you won't be with me, Molly. Won't you miss me? Um, eh. Molly! <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe a little. <laughs> Time to take over Molly's life. They won't even know that I'm Polly. And now that she's at summer camp, I can live just like she does in her awesome house with, well, her sort of annoying sister, but whatever. But still keep all of her stuff, like her iPad and her iPhone, and and have her room. <laughs> My plan's gonna work perfectly. Hey, Daisy. Molly, what are you doing here? You're supposed to still be at summer camp. Um, yeah, I missed you so much, I decided to come home. I was really homesick. Wait, what? You were? Wow, summer camps really changed you, Molly. Yeah, I'm going to turn over a brand new leaf. I'm going to be the best sister in the whole world. Oh, wow, Molly. <laughs> yeah, right. You're so full of it. <laughs> I don't believe you for a single second. Well, you just wait and see. Hey, Mom. Oh, hi, Molly. How was summer camp? Oh, it was perfect. Wait, why are you home early? I missed you so much, Mom. I just I just had to be where you are. Plus, I didn't really serve healthy food there and too many cupcakes and stuff. Wait, what? <laughs> are you for real now? Too many cupcakes? That doesn't sound like you. You love cupcakes. Yeah, but I'm turning over a new leaf. I'm only eating healthy food from here on out. Molly, are you feeling okay? Yeah, feeling great. This new life is going to be perfect. <sighs> I just got to trick them into thinking that I'm the best daughter ever. And then when Molly comes back, 
Phil totally tell her that she has to get lost and that me, Polly, can stay forever because I'm much better behaved. <laughs> My plan's gonna work perfectly. Daisy sent your sisters home. You have to share the computer. Ah, <sighs> okay. And also, if you could take out the trash. Don't worry, Daisy. I'll take out the trash for you. Really? Wow, Maddie, that's so nice. Are you sure you didn't get a concussion? I'm fine. I just want you to be super happy. Ew, this trash smells horrible. Yeah, that's from baby Kira's dirty, stinky diapers. She poo-pooed a lot this week. Ew, I don't want to take this outside. You did promise Daisy you'd do that chore for her. You're right, Mom. I'll go take it out. Wow, Molly really has turned over a new leaf. <laughs> it's working so well. They don't even suspect that I'm Polly and not Molly. Hey, Molly, what's up? Oh, hi. Um, I must know you from somewhere. <laughs> You're being so silly, Molly. Why are you back early from summer camp? And why didn't you call me first thing when you got home to tell me all about it? Um, um, wait, what was your name again? Uh, hold on a minute. I have to put down these poop diapers. They smell horrible. What are you talking about? What's my name? Did you seriously forget about your best friend while you were at summer camp? Oh, uh, best friend. Yeah, uh, no, I didn't forget about you. You can't even remember my name, Molly. I feel like, I feel like you forgot all about me. I understand if you don't want to be my BFF anymore. I, I, I'm just going to be so sad for a really long time. Well, um, eh, well, no, I'll still be your best friend. Just tell me what your name is. Molly, it's Brookie. You really did forget all about me. <laughs> Brookie, wait. Oh, boy. I really messed that one up. That's okay. I'll buy her Starbucks tomorrow, and she'll be okay. <sighs> Being Molly is harder than I thought. She's so naughty, and I have to be so good. Hey, Daisy. Um, do you need help with your homework? Homework? It's the middle of summer. Molly, what's gotten into you? You're acting really strange. Me? Strange? Never! <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna go to my room. Oh no, she's kinda on to me. Well, at least Molly's at summer camp and she has no idea I'm taking over her life. Okay, Molly, are you ready for the ride of your life? I can't wait! Whoa, are you driven before? Because you keep running into everything. Well, not really before summer camp, but it doesn't matter because at summer camp, you don't even need your driver's license. Um, okay, if you say so. Whee! <laughs> uh, you ran into the food tent, which normally would be bad, but hey, free snack time. Ooh, what do we got? Ice cream, soup. Oh, wait, no, that's just soup. That's not ice cream. I was kind of hoping it was ice cream. I think I'll have some soup and maybe a sandwich because that sounds delicious. Hey, don't run into me. Sorry, I'm just trying to back up. Ow! Oh my gosh, you really are a terrible driver. Kumbaya, da da, kumbaya. Ah, oh, you're so annoying. I'm just singing the camp songs that everybody else is singing. Okay, whatever you say. Oh wow, look, it's lights out already. It's getting really late. I hope you're having a good time at summer camp, Sarah. If you'd leave me alone, I would be. Huh, she's such a grump monster. Now, where did she put her iPad? Totally want to watch YouTube. Oh, or maybe I could find her iPhone and watch TikToks. Aha! Now, let's log into her TikTok account. This is going to be so easy to guess. I bet her password is... I love Luke. <laughs> oh my god, it actually worked! She's so lame. <laughs> oh my god, that TikTok is so funny! <laughs> I'm probably going to stay up all night watching that. OMG. Uh, Molly, it's almost time for lights out. You have to put your iPhone away. Who made you boss anyway? Um, well, I'm just telling you the rules since you seem to forget them all the time. Um, yeah, you're probably right, Daisy. I put the phone away. Let's just go to sleep. Wait, what? You actually listen to me? Okay, who are you? You must be an alien that's abducted my sister. Now, how would a green, weird Martian look exactly like your sister? I don't know. Maybe they're smarter than us. And they know how to look like us or something. 
Haven't you ever seen Men in Black before? Um, no. And I don't care about that. But I do care about the fact that you don't think I'm your sister. How could you think something so horrible about me? Seriously, I'm just trying to be the best sister to you ever, Daisy. And you're making me feel so bad about it. Oh, I never thought of it that way. Something just seems a little off. But you're probably right. Everybody can change, right? Yeah, exactly. I've changed, all right. <laughs> well, Daisy, good night. Uh, Molly, why are you trying to sleep in my bed? Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> that's right, I'm on the top bunk. Yeah, that's right. How can you forget what bed you sleep in? Um, I guess it was at summer camp too long. <laughs> good night. I wonder what Molly's doing at summer camp. <laughs> I'm busy taking over her life. Oh, wow, that was a great night's sleep. No one ever tells you how good you're going to sleep at summer camp. I guess it's all the activities we do. I wonder how everyone's doing back home. Probably not as great as I'm doing here. Wow, look at that sunrise. Summer camp is amazing. Something smells delicious. Good morning, sleepyhead. I thought you'd sleep all day. Oh, no, <laughs> not me. Ooh, pancakes. Yeah, they're for you. I even put extra butter on them for you. Ooh, mm, butter on my pancakes? Yes, please. Aha, I knew it. Knew what? <laughs> that you were gonna make me pancakes for breakfast? Yeah, that's a pretty nice thing to do, huh? No. You're not Molly. What? what are you talking about? Molly never eats butter on her pancakes. She only eats peanut butter and soda. What? Ew, that sounds disgusting. And that's exactly why you're an impostor. You're not my real sister. Ha, ah, home sweet home. So glad to be back. Mom, Dad, Daisy, baby Kira. Whoa, whoa what's going on here? Molly, is that you? Um, yeah, who else would I be? Wait a minute, who's that? And why do they look exactly like me? Hi, I'm Polly, your identical twin sister. Say what? Molly, she was trying to take over your life while you were at summer camp. Well, I was a much better sister, wasn't I? I took out the trash for you. I ate the pancakes that you offered, even with the butter and Oh my gosh, you're not for real. You're not Molly. Yeah, you can say that again. I'm Molly. Well, I could be Molly if you let me. I want to live here and take your sister's place. I'll be a much better sister. What? No, you won't. <laughs> she Molly, she kind of would be. Daisy? Uh, but still in all, you're a fake, a fraud. You're not really Molly, so sorry. You can't be Molly. You have to be Polly. What? How'd you know my name? I just figured your name was Polly. You seem like a Polly. Yeah, she really does. Now, you have to leave. Wait, do you have a place to live? Huh, yeah. But it's not as nice as this house. Well, maybe you should go back there because you can't take over my life, Polly. Okay, but you just wait. When you least expect it, Molly, I will take over your life. It will be mine! Okay, Molly, get out of my house, seriously. Molly, I never thought I'd see this. I'm so glad you're home. Me too, Daisy. Me too. Oh, man. <sighs> Six o'clock in the morning. Well, I promised myself I'd turn over a new leaf. No more laziness. Nope, I'm gonna start getting up early, studying for my tests, doing my chores. If I could just make my brain wake up. Wake up, brain! Wake up! Wake up! One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I haven't worked out in a really long time. I need a cupcake. I need a cupcake! Hey, Mom, good morning! I'm awake so we're early today and I'm all dressed for school and... Oh, seriously? What? What did I do, Mom? What's wrong? Ugh, 
I just can't believe you woke up at 6 a.m. when you could have woken up at 5 a.m. Wait, what? I never wake up at 6 a.m. So, you could have wake it up, woken up at 5 a.m. and then you could have done more chores. Oh, um, well we never do chores before school, Mom. I, I have school today. Well, you could have done more studying for that test. I mean, when was the last time you actually got a perfect grade on your test? Um, eh, um, well, uh, never. Exactly. Ugh, you could have woken up earlier is my point. I'm sorry, Mom. Um, but, uh, I'll try to do better, okay? You should definitely try to do better. Okay, Mom. Well, I'll, I'll see you after school. Okay, Molly. Bye. Bye! Ugh, I thought my mom would be super proud of me that I woke up at 6 a.m. and got ready, and, and I'm even out here before the school bus gets here. Probably could just walk to school if I wanted to. But, no, she's disappointed in me. Again. <laughs> What, Molly? What is it? Ah, for the first time ever in my entire life, I got a 100 on a test at school. Yes! Oh, Molly, um, this is not what I expected. Oh, no! Don't tell me Mrs. Smith accidentally gave me someone else's test and I actually failed. No, this is your test, Molly, but you only got a 100. Wait, say what? I only got a 100, Mom, that's a perfect score. No, correction. There was a bonus question on here and you didn't know it. You could have gotten 105. But, but mom, I got a perfect score. No, perfect would have been 105. Maybe if you studied harder, gotten up earlier and done the studying, then you would have gotten a 105. Oh, okay, well, um, I'm sorry that I didn't get a 105, but mom, for the first time ever, I got 100. This is in insane. I don't care. You need to try harder, Molly. Okay, Mom. I'll try harder. Wow! The entire school is here! Oh. <laughs> Good thing I'm not nervous. Okay, maybe I'm just a little nervous. But I got this. I have been practicing this song for months. And this talent show? I'm totally gonna win it. P-I-G-G-Y P piggy song that I wrote. Yep, that's right. I wrote it myself. And I sang it for the talent show. Wow, Mary, your um, dancing was really pretty. Oh, thank you. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get first place. Oh, really? I think I'm going to get first place. Pfft, no way. I'm totally going to win it. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Okay, we've narrowed it down to these two contestants, Molly and Mary. Who do you think's going to win? Oh, I can't wait to see. Do you think it's going to be Molly? Boo! Boo! Guacamole! Is my own mother booing me right now? Oh yeah, Molly, that's not a really good sign. <laughs> and the winner is... Mary! Wait, what? But, 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 my song was amazing! Yay! Where's my trophy? I can't wait! Here you go, Mary! <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, man. Mom, I can't believe it! I, I, I got second place! I worked really hard at this, but you know, second place is still amazing, right, Mom? No, it's not amazing. It's, it's, it's pathetic. Wait, what? If you hadn't taken that breath in the third measure, in the second verse, you would have won. Mom, I had to breathe. I'm human. Breathing is done in a certain way when you're singing. Mom, listen to how I breathe when I sing it. P-I-G-G-Y, Piggy is after me. Then breathe. <gasps> okay, Mom, but I don't have as big as long as you, as long as you. I'm not an adult yet. Well, maybe you should have practiced harder. Mom, did you seriously boo me? I did. Mary was the better contestant. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I, 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 I'm tired of trying 
so hard. I tried to turn over a new leaf and obviously I'm never going to be good enough for you, Mom. Wait, what? Your high expectations of me is making me feel, well, well, horrible about myself. No, 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 I, I just give up. I'm going back to being lazy and eating Doritos all day and getting the crumbs all over my bed and then sleeping in the crumbs and, and having them stuck to my face in the morning and then eating the crumbs because I'm hungry, but I'm too lazy to go down and get breakfast. Uh, Molly, that sounds really, well, kind of weird. I don't care. I like being lazy. And, 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 and I tried so hard and I'm not good enough for you. Oh my gosh, Molly. I realize that I've been pushing you way too hard. Yes. And you're wonderful and special just the way you are. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I know I've been pushing you way too hard. I, I just wanted you to reach your full potential. All it made me do is feel, well, useless and... I'm like a failure. I just, I never seen you not want to be lazy. And so I, I guess I just went a little crazy. And I'm, I'm sorry, Molly. You know, I don't know if anyone ever told you this, but grown-ups aren't perfect either. Really? You're not? Nope. And there's no book that tells us the exact things to do to parent. We just try our best and sometimes we fail too. Yeah, mom, you're not meeting my expectations. <laughs> Just kidding, Mom. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I did fail in this regard, but I could get you an ice cream and tell you I'm sorry and I love you. Sounds pretty good to me. Can I get two scoops, Mom? Sure, Molly. I've done it! I've done it, people! Done what, Daisy? I've become the smartest human being in the world. Say what? What is all that racket? It's six o'clock in the morning. Oh, look at this person with their junky car already making a ton of noise. Whose car are you calling junky? Daisy, is that you? Yep, it's me, and I'm with my brand new car. Well, it's not brand new, but it's new to me. I would say so. Definitely not brand new, because it sounds like it's having some trouble starting. Hey, I can't buy a lot on my waitress salary, but it is pretty sweet to have a car. No more walking to school. <sighs> can you wait for me so I can have a ride? No, Molly, I'm about to go right now. See ya! Daisy! Oh, she got a car and I did it. No fair! Daisy, get back here! I'm your sister! You're supposed to give me a ride! Oh, man. I can't believe she has to leave at like 6 o'clock in the morning. What's wrong with her anyway? Ugh, I can't believe I have to walk to school. This stinks. My sister's so spoiled she got a new car. And I just have to walk? I mean, she did have to work for it at the diner, but I don't care. I should get a new car too. Totally not fair. What's that over there in the bushes? It looks like a giant box. It is a giant box. What's it say? Money box? <laughs> yeah, right. Like someone would actually put money inside a cardboard box and leave it in the bushes in Brookhaven. That's ridiculous. Oh my gosh! This box really is full of tons of money. Who would leave this here? I don't know, but I better do the right thing and go over to the bank and return it. I don't want to, you know, be like a bad person and like take somebody's like life savings or something. But there's, there's thousands and thousands of dollars in here. Good morning. Welcome to Brookhaven Bank. Oh, my. Are you making a deposit into your savings account? I would not suggest keeping all your money in a cardboard box. You don't understand. There's, there's hundreds of thousands of dollars in this box. Wait, what? Where did you get that? I found it out there on the street. Are you serious? Yeah, totally. Who would do that? I don't know. Maybe some old person who knew they were going to die soon and wanted to do something nice for someone else. Uh, really? Uh, yeah. In any case, finders keepers. There's no way that we would be able to locate the owner of that money. And I don't think they want it to be located. It just says money box on the side. Who would do that? Hide it in the bushes and and not put their name on it or anything? No, a sensible person would put all that money in the bank unless they wanted someone to find it. 
And I'm that someone. Whoa, I just became a billionaire in one day? Holy guacamole! This is the best day, the best day of my life. This is the best day, the best day of my life. Woohoo! This is the best day of your life, girlfriend. I know, right? I got so much money. <laughs> I know what I'm going to spend it on, too. Just remember that you should save some. Don't blow all of your money. And when you get it, <laughs> then you won't be able to survive for the rest of your life. With that kind of money, you don't even ever have to have a job. Wait, what? I can just sit on my couch and eat potato chips? Yep, and you'll have enough money to buy probably like a million bags of potato chips. <laughs> this is the best day ever! First thing I need to do is get on my phone. Yep, I hatched a perfect plan. Hello, Maggie's Tutoring Service, how can I help you? How does a thousand dollars sound to you for going to school for me today? Um, we're not really in the business of going to school for you. We're more in the business of helping you learn and yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Go to school for me, okay? A thousand dollars. Well, <laughs> I do have a mortgage to pay. Okay, I agree. Perfect. No more school for me. Now that that little school thing is taken care of, time to buy me a new sweet ride. Hi there. How are you doing today? Oh, you're awfully young. You probably can't afford a car. Hey, don't judge a book by its cover. I just happen to be a billionaire. Oh my gosh. What's it going to take to get you in one of these vehicles? Huh? 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 Um, I don't know. For me to like it, I guess. All right, well, let's go see what we've got on the lot today. Would you like a giant Mack truck? Now, remember, you have to have a special license to drive these. What am I going to do with this? No way. Ooh, look at this one. Holy guacamole. I like this one. Oh, we also have this, um, this truck over here. How about that one? Uh, no. <laughs> Definitely want this one. Taking it for a test drive. Hey, don't crash into other cars. Do you even have your driver's license? Yeah, totally. <laughs> Well, congratulations, Molly. We've had the license plate all changed over, and, well, it seems that your money isn't counterfeit. Oh, well, that's good news. <laughs> See you later. Thanks for selling me this sweet car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Life is good as a billionaire. And, um, are you a new student? Who are you? I don't have you on my roster. Oh, yeah, um, that's because I'm filling in for your student, Molly, today. Wait, what? Filling in? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, Molly hired me and paid me $1,000 to come take her place at school today. She's not going to be here, but you can't mark her as absent because I'm here in her place. Wait, what? That's not how any of this works. You can't have a replacement student. Well, I think you can. There's nothing in the rule book about that in school. Well, well, you do have a point there, but, but this just isn't right. I think we should go to the principal about this. If there's no rule in the school handbook, then it's perfectly acceptable. Now, please hand me my test back. Now I need to upgrade my outfit. I am a billionaire after all. How about this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I definitely look like a rich person. Now it's time to build an epic house. This looks like the perfect lot for my mansion. Perfection! It's got an outdoor play area. It's just so cool. <laughs> Being a billionaire is the best thing that's ever happened to me. My house is so bright and modern and colorful. Ah, it's so cool. Wait a minute, why is that thing here for babies? Well, I guess I can use it when baby Kira comes to visit. Wow, my pad is amazing. <laughs> Look at this slide. This is so Molly. Whee! Right into my house. At some point, I'm going to spend some money and I'm going to have like a pool put in like right here. And um, that way you can go down the slide and into the pool. Wouldn't that be amazing? My kitchen is probably fully stocked too because that's how billionaires refrigerators are. Oh yeah, look at all the Reese's. I'm going to eat one. Mm. I could buy a billion Reese's, you know. A billion! Who built 
his house so quickly right next to mine. Holy guacamole, it's huge. Molly, is that you? Yeah, come on in. Come into my new house. Your new house. Yeah, right. <laughs> Who's our new neighbor? I'm your new neighbor. No, you're not, Molly. You live in the house with me and mom and dad and baby Kiwa. Not anymore. This is my mansion. How on earth did you afford this, Molly? You would have to be a millionaire. Try billionaire. I got it all from my money box. What are you talking about? Your money box. Molly, don't be ridiculous. No, I'm serious. <laughs> I don't believe you, Molly. <laughs> no, I really am being serious. You see, on the way to school today, I was super mopey because you got a car and I didn't. Spoiled! I'm not spoiled, I work hard for my car. By the way, it only makes it to school half the time. The other times it spends broken down at red lights. <laughs> but it's mine, and I worked hard for it. Yeah, yeah, I worked hard for it, blah, blah, blah. I found this money box on the way to school, and it's full of a billion dollars. Well, actually, not quite a billion anymore because I bought a car and a house and this fancy dress and, you know, all the things. Wait a minute. You found a box of money and you didn't return it? Well, I tried. I went to the bank, but they said, finders keepers. So, I found it and I get to keep it. But here, I could give you some ice cream money. I don't want to be greedy. Holy guacamole! I can't believe my sister's a billionaire. Now you can invest in my science lab. Uh, maybe. Come on, I'm going to be super successful. I just need about a million dollars. A million dollars? Are you crazy? You're already trying to con me for money. Isn't that the way? Isn't that the way? But Molly, I'm your sister. Don't you believe in me? Okay, that's it. I've got to move from Brookhaven so I can keep all my money to myself. Ha 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 ha! Okay, Scrooge McDuck. Well... I don't know. I guess you could have, like I said, some ice cream money. You're so rude! Who are you anyway? Money has changed you. I guess it has. I guess it has. Molly, I just can't believe how greedy you are. What happened to you? Oh, sorry, Daisy. Someone's at the door. Who is that? I don't recognize that person. Hello? Can I help you? Oh uh, yes, I'm Erwin R. Scheister from the IRS. The IRS? Who's that? The Internal Revenue Service, Molly. I see you have a giant box of cash. <laughs> we got wind of this just about an hour ago. Uh, you're now a new billionaire, is that correct? Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not loaning out money right now, though. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't loan money to the IRS. We take it. Wait, what? No, this is my money in my money box. You can't have it. Oh, <laughs> you don't understand. When you live in Brookhaven, we can come take a good portion of your money. You know, to pay for roads. But they're full of potholes. And the schools, you know, so you get notebooks and pens. No, I don't I don't get notebooks and pens. I have to buy those myself. Yeah, newsflash, the IRS. Well, they're not the friendliest, Molly. Well, what are you talking about taking my money? Get out of my house! You can keep the house and the car, but you're going to have to fork over a bunch of the money. You have to do it, Molly, or you go to jail. Well, this is criminal! No, Molly, it's the law. Okay, here, I've calculated it all. You owe this amount. What? That can't be right! It totally is, but don't worry, you'll have $10 left. $10?! <laughs> As they say at the IRS, that's the way the cookie crumbles! 